The U.S. view, uh, Fred, of uh, Iran, we are always told, is that it's a pariah state, is that it's regarded as, as the universal bogeyman in the world. Um, is that the feeling that you have from, from your work, from, where, from the office that you go to, from the people that you talk to? Well, I know they, you, you do hear a lot of that. Um, and I think it's unfortunate because Iran has a warm and welcoming people. They're well-educated. They're hardworking. Uh, they have a rich culture. And there's no reason why the two countries can't be allies. Uh, there's this false narrative being circulated, and we heard it on this program a little earlier, that, that Iran's isolation and economic problems are the fall of the United States and Donald Trump. Uh, that's just not true. We have to see that, admit that the revolution has failed. The economy has been very badly managed by the country's fanatical theocratic rulers who have wasted millions and billions of dollars on terrorism, uh, sending troops into Syria, uh, building missiles, a nuclear weapons program. And then we have the Iranian people who can't buy eggs, who can't buy food. It, it, it's just an appalling tragedy that this country has been managed so badly. And if Donald Trump is really responsible for the current problems with the economy, why were the Iranian people suffering during the Obama administration? Why did the economic disaster continue? Because the regime wasted all the sanctions relief, it got under the nuclear deal, and put it into weapons and terrorism. And I don't know what else they wasted it on. So I think it's a terrible tragedy, but I hope the end of that tragedy is in sight.